<clears throat> Wait, where are you at? I'm driving the ship. Oh. What happened with the Reaver? It's up. It's uh, oh, flying around right now. Phone. Yeah, if you want to sit, sit at that and let me... Uh, it was fucking, uh, it's broken or something. It thinks that there's shit on the radar, but I went and looked and there's nothing there right now. Um, so the ground stuff we can deal with easily, but the air stuff, that Reaper does really good as long as it's getting locks onto the jets or the helicopters, whatever the game d decides to spawn. So if, uh, um, so on your left side, you're gonna see uh, RTR in black. Don't do it yet, but when you see shit actually starting to spawn, go ahead and click E um, on that RTR, and that's going to enable the radar tracking. Uh, and that'll let you that'll let you actually take on jets. So all you have to do is uh, kind of get it, work it to where it's tracking a jet, and then you just fire. You press space to fire one missile. You only got four. Yeah, just let me know whenever something pops up. I see like a little red square on this computer thing down here. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's fucking glitched hard, out. Man. It's like... So Waz moves the camera and up and down zooms it in and out. So you can't move the drone. I have it off of moving the drone right now. So you can't fuck with the drone at all. If you use Waz, you're just going to move the camera around on the drone and then up and down zooms it in and out. And that pier right there, you're looking to your right. Uh, that like port is the where the uh, area is. That's where all the vehicles, besides the boats and stuff, are gonna spawn. Oh shit! We're going to that port. Is that right? Yeah. Well, Going near it, I'm, wait, I'm waiting for the fucking ships and shit to spawn, so that way... I don't see the drone on the map. Uh, you're not going to, because the drone is, uh, the actual thing is... The, um... The, the vehicle icon is on the ship because of the monitor. Uh... Oh god, that makes sense. I could've sworn it. Couldn't we see it? I know, it did, you... It, yeah, it did used to show it on the map. We were looking at it. That is weird. I mean, you're flying. You're flying it, right? I hopped off. It's off. still flying. Yeah, well, it's, it's still, still flying, right? Yeah. It's still it might be because I separated the drone from that. Whenever I was placing that, I had to separate the two. Oh, okay. ship spawned in. It might just be part of the thing now. So what should I do? Hop on one of the lower cannons? Shit, if you think you can hit it. Yeah, because I'd probably be better at that than flying that Reaper. Unless the Reaper is like autonomous, right? Yeah, it won't fire on its own, but it'll just kind of hover. Once we start seeing jets spawning, that's why I'm gonna we're gonna jump on it and need to do some AA action. This thing is hard to move around on while it's floating. Yeah. I was I'm hoping that ship don't here. start taking fucking pot shots at us. with the camera. What the fuck do I aim it down? I don't think it aims that well down. There you go. I'd say I didn't think it aims well down, but you got it. Shit, if you think you can hit that, take one of those, you were pretty decent at flying those planes last night. If you think you can hit one of those fucking, those ships with those planes, oh, they're just, a, they're disposable. I see a ship. Oh, dude, there's fucking four ships spawning in. Jeez. What's that drone saying? 
Damn, a little, uh, you, the shot down, he didn't aim up. This thing is, like, prehistoric. <laughs> uh, right on it, just to the beh behind it. You want me to stop moving? No, no, it's fine. It's the aim on this thing is like a 84 Chevy steering wheel. I'm, I'm probably actually going to stop moving. Oh, shit, dude, that was close. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking all three. Nice. All right, I, I parked it. I'm hoping it's not moving anymore. I don't think it is. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and shut the engines down. I wish I could zoom this thing in. You can't zoom it in? Nah, no. I'm shooting. Like, I can still see the cannon from the picture. I what is What's that? that noise? I don't know, that was weird. Fucking cruise missile incoming. Yeah, fucking, <laughs> that's the thing. That's what you get for defense. It's just an alarm. You're gonna get hit. <laughs> I hope this thing doesn't start falling. Oh, that's gonna be a hit. I'll tell you what, brother. Probably he, what? In that podcast, he said brother probably like nine oh, God. fucking times. That's just oh, that is hit. his thing. Yeah, it's like part of his natural vocabulary. Ooh, that was... Some explosions there. Yeah, I got it. Hulk Hogan's seven years old, bro. They don't look it. No, not at all. They were talking Are about we falling? No. I think so. What is that fucking blaring noise? There's nothing going on. Is this thing out? Oh, fuck, the delay. Alright. We're gonna go to something a little more. Primitive. I have no idea what the fuck that noise is. Is there guns on this ship? Oh, uh, what? Is there guns on this thing? On oh, what thing? The helicarrier. Oh, wait, yeah, never mind. What are you tracking? The train tracks? I don't know, but I okay, don't what the fuck is that? Alarm. What is the alarm? There's not like in a panel or anything that's gonna tell you like what exactly it's blaring and why. Is it? I don't think. Are we are we falling? Should I just start shooting everything up here? Dude, we're not falling at all. Well, we gotta be able to drive this fucking. Is there a silence on or something? Oh, you know, know what? Here it is. You gotta. Uh, here we go. Shoot this fucking thing. No? Uh, B. That's gotta be it. Those are buzzers. What is this? Oh, light. We're gonna find every fucking buzzer on this whole ship. Shut that shit off. Jesus. Is there any other buzzers? It doesn't uh, even maybe have I gotta... like a set location either. It's just all around. You can hear it. Have we got to start the engines up? Oh god, the helicopters are here. Oh no. Get the drone. All right, the buzzer's done. I cranked the engines up. How do I? There's helicopters. The um, you got to aim it at. If you're gonna use AA, it has to be tracking it. Oh, there's a buzzer back there now. So do the RAD. Well, that should already be. I enabled that. I think. Uh, go ahead and make all those white. 
and then look at where we are. Like, what do I do that with Waz? Yeah. Shit. Let me get on the. I can't even see where we're at. Let me get on the helicopter. No, the AC-130. Oh, they're fucking up the AC-130. Damn it. I can hop in one of those planes. I can't get that Reaper to work. I don't, I don't know how to fly it. Yeah, I'm jumping the helicopter. I'll hop in one of these planes. Come on, start up helicopter. Why do they keep putting flares out? I think they did something to the helicopter. Got this fire. Is there no fire extinguishers up here? Oh yeah, there is. Oh, I think I see one of the helicopters. See if I get this drone working. Oh god, the helicopter's gonna fly into it. Man, it's gonna fuck that damn thing up. Oh, now the radar is working. thing don't have like no uh, paddles it's just like you come on track like y'all the plane with left or right and then right does it yeah like you have to yaw at left and right and then pull up and down like use your pitch
Oh, I'm gonna track. All right, fired one. Come on, keep the track. Fuck, he went right next to it. Here comes the planes. The planes? Yeah. Where are those at? Bro, those have gotta be hidden. What the fuck? They look like they're flying towards the heli. Let's see what these missiles do. Things like auto track. What is that? Oh, my God, that was so close. Fuck this Apache, I'm not... Can't fight that thing with this fucking... P-51 Mustang ass plane. I'm gonna try to go hit a ship with a missile and then... Probably go back to the helicarrier carrier and try to help you with that. one. Alright. I think that is a lock warning. Oh, I just kamikaze it into that boat. Did it blow up? That's a boat. Is this our Apache just hovering here? No. Oh, hovering? Yeah. Oh, did it take off? Oh. I mean, it's a full-on, like, Apache Apache, not a Huey. Yeah, no, it looks like an Apache. It's got... Missiles on it. Yeah, I don't see it on the pad anymore. I don't know, it's like moving. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I I started it up, but it wouldn't start up. I guess it did start up. I can't even engine fire. I don't see any more helicopters or anything. Here, what we'll do is try to reclaim that Apache. I can't. It won't even steer or anything. It won't do nothing. Is it broke? Oh. Wait. What is it doing? Are you using uh, WAS to end the up and the down arrows? Yeah, I'm trying it all. I think it is. It's just it might be like super delayed.
Let's see if it picks up this. Here, I'm gonna let you take over. This thing's not flying right for me. I'm fucking crazy. I even got it down. Oh. I say, watch out for the blades. Might have the no clip into it. That's what I did. I think it's like the up and down keys are your uh, like elevation and left and right. Yeah, it's okay. it's just a little slow. Yeah. It's a, oh, what was that? My game or what? There's a fucking plane flying around. It looks like an AC-130. That's the Reaper. Oh, it is. Oh no, it's. That should be the Reaper. I got the Reaper flying around. What the fuck's blowing up? I'm pretty sure one of those has to be the Reaper because it's close. I got it really close to the. Oh, I never blew that one ship up. I think they're shooting at us from the ocean. There's like a fucking huge ass ship. Damn, how did the DC-130 get that fucked up? Is that the heli? Yeah, that's the Reaper flying in a circle. Come here, bitch. What the fuck, did it just despawn? Yeah, but what I was saying earlier is, um, it was like two highlights to my day. Whenever I went to Checkers, the, uh, their fucking order taker is like an AI now. It's like, hello, welcome to Checkers. What can we get for you? And oh I my gosh. You know, like, it, I don't know, you probably don't go to McDonald's that much, but if you go to McDonald's, they're like, Hi, will you be using the mobile app today? Yeah, and it's, a yeah, fucking and it's automated. Yeah, it's like a recording or something. And every time I'm like, no, or whatever. But this time, they were like, hi, um, welcome to Checkers or something like that. They were like, do you want the number one combo? And I was like, no. And then, <laughs> sure enough, I'm like looking... And that's their big Buford or whatever. I was like, yeah, actually, can I get a number one combo? Can I actually? <laughs> but um, it was just all automated. It's like, what size would you like? And I was like, medium. It was like, what kind of drink? And I was like, cherry Coke. And uh, it was it was like, is there anything else you'd like to add to your order? And I forgot. I think I got, uh, oh, the mozzarella sticks, the six piece. And then um, I was like... Do you guys have tater tots? It was like, no, we do not. Sorry. Or something wow. like that. Yeah, and I got to the window. I'm like, bro, are you like, do you just listen to it and like hit the key or whatever? Or you, like, you're not allowed to talk? He's like, no, it's all AI. And I was just sitting there. I'm like, what? Like, that thing can hear responses and actually respond. And he was like, yeah, I told somebody one time, sorry, we don't have these nuts or something like that. And oh my gosh. He's fucking cracking up. But yeah, that, that's pretty cool to see that. I mean, I'd hate for fast food people to lose their jobs, but honestly, I think that whole line of work would be way better if it was just all... Oh, 100%. Yeah, because there wouldn't be no human error. There wouldn't be people that are having a shitty day and fucking end up spitting in your food or something. And it'll just get shit way, like done right. You, know, you order a custom cheeseburger without ketchup and mustard, but add mayo... It'll fucking get it right every time, probably, especially if it's the one cooking it. But there was that, and then, like, shit, whenever I was leaving that first store, I was talking to this dude in line, and um, he was just asking about the business and stuff, and he was saying that they own a business, him and his brother, 
where they build like tennis courts and basketball courts and shit for people and I was like dude that's a killer that sounds awesome I bet you make the bank with that and he was saying like his dad started that business back in the 70s or whatever and they've just been running it for quite a few years I think he was saying he was like a former cop and I was like yeah I couldn't it's a cool it seems like a cool line of work but I just couldn't do that nowadays with how many people hate cops and how crazy shit is it's like it seems like a really high risk job and he was yeah. like yeah I, I got out of it when all the politics got involved and I was like yeah I don't blame you but he I had a big ass fucking bottle of smart water cause I don't know why I just like getting the Fiji and the smart water when I'm out and um he was like I'd like to buy his water I was like man you don't have to do that he's like no no throw it up so that was that was cool he was like, because I told him, I was like, he was like, uh, you done after this? So I was like, no, I got like five more fucking jobs. And whenever he bought the water, he's like, don't worry about it, man. You got five more jobs after this. I'll take care of those. So that was cool. That is, yeah, it is cool. Pretty sure it was like a four or five dollar bottle of water. Which I don't really like get those often. It's just whenever I'm on those runs. Cause I'm getting a big ass bottle of water anyway. And Circle K water is fucking nasty, whether it's purified or spring. And I don't know, Dasani. I'm not like huge in the tasting water, but Dasani definitely has this weird taste. Their purified water, it's almost like chemically or something. A lot of people can't even taste the difference in water, but like I hate spring no, water. No, I can't. You can't tell the difference between purified and spring uh, water? Fuck. fuck no. I get I drink the... I get the Sorke brand water. The big bottle of it. Yeah. I mean, no, if I get, like, a case of water, I'll get Circle K water. But, like I said, if I'm out on a run, and I'm going to be filling up my cup a couple times with that water, I'll, I'll throw it down and get some good water. I don't care. I hate spring water though, that shit's nasty. It's got like a weird fucking taste to it. I gotta launch this AC-130, get it fixed and launch it. That's what I'm working on right now. I gotta get Oh, you are? Okay. Because I've been trying, I've been trying to, I used up, this, this helicopter actually has uh, a shit ton of missiles and they're all heat seeking, so it's just they auto track. Uh, but. What about the gunner? I used them all of the, the gunner has an auto cannon. Um, yeah. Dude, I can hop in that. We can go take out some of the ships or something. Alright, let me... I got hit a couple of times, so this thing's not having a great day, but it's flying. Let me land it. Pretty sure the AC-130 should be flyable. That's all it needs to be, is flyable. Yeah, it's just a little hole damage right there. But... Did you get the, the left engine damage? Um... The left, uh, I think it was the far left end. Oh, he's back. I like how they make it where you can't use your shit when you're no clip. Like, forces you to be realistic. Hey, there we go. Hit him once. using the shit out of this no clip right now, but it's okay. No 
Oh my god. The whole inside of this thing is fucked. <coughs> There we go. Yeah, I, went, I don't know if I told you like how the other day I was in Orlando doing that run and I like picked at my finger a little bit around. It was like I actually bit the fingernail off and it did one of the things where it goes all the way around and fucking rips some. Yeah, I hate that shit. Yeah, and it, it was swollen the next day and it's just been like healing kind of weird like with a lot of dead skin. I don't mean to be nasty or whatever, but. So, like, I was out today, and when I got to that first store, I, like, started pulling the fucking thing apart, basically, trying to get... Because it, it feels... It's just, like, so pressure. Like, so much pressure. I don't... I can't explain it, but... I was just trying to, like, get my nail from digging. It, it's almost like an ingrown thumbnail, it kind of feels like. And eventually I got it like that, but my thumb was, like, fucked up, so... I went in there and got some Neosporin and some bandages and just been soaking this bitch all day, but it's like super fucked up now. I need to learn to just stop sometimes. <laughs> stop falling my head. Oh, uh, I do it all the fucking time and I regret it, but I still do it. Yeah, I mean, it feels better now, but it's a sore pain instead of like a pressure pain, so. Oh, uh, I, uh, I didn't tell you, but I started watching that painkiller show you were telling me about. Ah, yeah. I didn't realize that, uh,. Deck the Halls guy was in it. Yeah, you noticed. And he that? plays a. Yeah, dude, it was kind of hard. I was like, dude, what? The, who the? And I was like, shut the fuck up. Is that the Deck the Halls guy? And sure enough, name? I'm um, like, Matthew Broderick. Yeah. Mom, or no, I was I was saying I'm like that dude looks so familiar. I can't pinpoint who it is. And then at some point, Mom's like, it looks like Matthew Broderick. Or something. I was like, no. Oh, she fuck. knew. <laughs> He's old. Like, I don't know if they oh, did. Yeah. They just did. And he got fat. <laughs> I think something happened to him. I don't know. I think it was that horror stories YouTube channel I was talking about one time. He did like a video on Matthew Broderick. Or like, I, I'm pretty sure he got into a drunk driving accident. I don't know if he was the one responsible. Uh... But he was in the the drunk car or whatever. Like whoever was driving was drunk. And he was in it. And somebody got killed. And it just kind of fucked up his career. I mean, that and, like, he was just focusing time on his kids. And stuff like that. I don't know how... I, I know i seen something with him involved in something like that. And it kind of fucked him up a little bit. But I think between that and him just focusing on his family. Probably why we haven't seen too much of him. Shit, maybe he took some of that acting money and actually invested it in something smart. Yeah, like useful. Fucking assholes. No, oh, don't fall off the carrier. That one dude I watched, Johnny Harris, he did a video on Joe Rogan today, and it was a little biased. Kind of turned me off of his channel just because, like, what the fuck? How can you do a fucking negative video on Joe Rogan? Well, he wasn't negative. Against He's like the Joe most Rogan, real. But... Like, you could tell that he was more, like, unoptimistic about the video than he was optimistic. And at the end of the day, that's, like, pretty much just down But it, he was, like, he was admiring how he's blown up so much over this last, like, decade and everything. But he was complaining about the fact that Rogan lets anybody on, basically, to just... Spew. He likes anybody on? Not anybody. I mean, like, he was even... No, is that what he said, though? No, he was saying... Because like, he does. He, well, he was saying... Yeah, I mean, he chooses who he wants on, but he was saying, like, how he lets anybody, even if they're a very uncredible person, um, on. So, like, Alex... He was mainly focusing Alex yeah. Jones. But, but, he, but he corrected the shit out of Alex Jones. Oh, yeah, and he, he said that in his thing, too, but he didn't give enough credit to Joe Rogan, I don't think. And I just... That's it's the all thing I don't like about that Johnny Harris guy is he's very liberal, almost. And I don't oh, the know. libs hate him too. Yeah, because I mean, he has free speech. He's um, like he he's a reporter or whatever journalist, so he definitely tries to dig down to the facts. But the way he does videos sometimes, it just seems very negative. Things get more uh, yeah, views exactly. too. Amplified, like he'll he'll amplify the negative or the more liberal stuff out of stuff, and it's just. 
It gets annoying. I don't know. Because I am, I lean a little bit more conservative than liberal. I honestly hate how our country is so divided like this. It's whatever, though. But it, um, I don't know. It, I could just tell, like, he was playing, like, Eddie Bravo clips. That's the guy with, like, the greased back hair that was just saying all kind of stupid conspiracies. I think he was on with Alex Jones. And, um, or they all, like, sat down and talked one time, like, all three of them. But that, and then, like, he showed the Robert F. Kennedy Jr. clip at the, like, he was doing the credits, and he just showed a clip of RFK Jr. saying the Wi-Fi radiation and something like that. And oh, God. I mean, a lot of shit he did say in that podcast was kind of out there, but, I mean, I... Dude, yeah, but dude, that's the best part about Joe is he has these crazy people on it. You take it as what you want. Yeah, Joe I mean, will be there to fact check. And RFK Jr. is pretty credible. Like he, Oh, uh, he's 100%. Like, yeah, he's not like a conspiracy theorist like Jones. And he actually, some of the shit he says is true. I mean, the I vaccine thing and everything thing could be heavily debated by people. And I don't, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with it because I it's out of my fucking hands. I'll say that much. But... It's like, I don't know. I just love how he threw that in the end. Like, why? He's just subtly throwing shade at Joe Rogan and all his uh, people that he's had on, basically. And I don't know. After watching I was going to send, like, I first seen the title of it and seen it up. And I'm like, oh, shit, I might send this to Jake. But then I started watching. I was like, Jake won't enjoy this. And he's almost bashing Joe Rogan. Yeah, that's what, and it would just turn me off immediately because yeah. I, I think Joe Rogue, I respect him a lot because he's so open. And I love the fact that he has these people I don't agree with so I can hear them. No, that's actually one of his, um, that was one of his talking points was um, like he, the Johnny Harris guy does not agree with Candace Owens at all because like I was saying, he's more on the liberal side and Candace Owens is like 100% conservative republican and he his thing he said in the video was she denounced the blm as some money hungry tribe of people just looking to use others or something like that and then she also um i don't know she openly spoke about something and i guess that just pissed him off too but he was saying he doesn't like her at all but then he was like talking about how he watched because he he was saying he just went over like tons of hours of joe rogan uh podcast and hers was one of the ones that he watched and he was talking about how it he almost humanized her like before he hated her guts and shit but then after like just hearing her out it, it he was saying it humanized her which was a weird part of the video because like i didn't see where he was going with that i don't he didn't even really go anywhere with it other than just justifying joe rogan a little bit because that's what he was trying to do is he puts up a bunch of positives or like a couple positives and then he throws up a bunch of negatives or something like that and he like i said he's like a geopolitical journalist so like he covers just incidences that have happened in yeah. the past like like the Native Americans losing their land or um, just like all kind of stuff. He's honestly like shared a lot of shit that's like not anti-American, but like just showing America's true colors over the years, which I guess is a good thing. We kind of need people to know how this country was really earned and shit like that. It wasn't a no fair fucking deal. No, oh, motherfucker, there's another helicopter coming in. But I feel like that guy should just stick to that shit, not, not this. It, it honestly just turned me oh, off. Oh, stop thing. firing missiles. We gotta get this thing off the ground. I know, I'm working on it. Oh, it's gonna crash into us. It's, it's, here it is. It blew up the whole back of the plane. What? It just blew up, like, the whole back of the plane. It, it kamikaze it into the back of the AC-130. Is it blown up? The helicopter's gone, but the back of the plane is as well. <laughs> I 
and grab another torch. Oh, the engines are still working. Uh, I'm trying to get these wings. Once I can get these wings down. Trying to figure out how to fucking get these wings down. I forgot how to. Oh, there we go. Here, wait. I'm just gonna see if I can pull it forward a little bit. Oh my god, I'm like no clip falling. How does this work? What the fuck? Oh, I have to hit shift. Dude, this is aggravating. Oh, I died. Okay. I don't even know what the fuck just happened. And now I spawn all the way in the air. What? Damn, I lost my torch. I'm not going to take off without you, don't worry. <coughs> oh, so this thing's sliding off. We can pull forward if we need, or whatever. Uh-oh. Come I on. Want, like those A-team type takeoffs where we just... Oh, we're falling back. Fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and snow clip inside. Oh, jeez. Why is it just free falling? Come on. Oh. Harrier to take off. Come on. Why is it just free spinning? Everything's like shifting out of place on my screen. We're doing like massive 360s now. Is it? Is there I like don't know a, if we're falling. Oh, I think the rudder in the back is still fucked up. I know we're going to. It is a little bit. Yeah, it shouldn't be causing this though. What if you just go nose down? I don't have any control of it. Let me see. <laughs> this thing's going crazy, bro. <laughs> Did we... D <laughs> <laughs> it's just spinning in midair. It's not really doing anything. Bro, I want to get my camera to stay still so I can see, like, a full image of how fast we're spinning right now. I don't really understand why it's... Oh, that was it. Yeah, I don't know if this thing's ever gonna launch or do anything. Let me see. God, the internal view is fucked. At 2,200 feet. Oh, you know what? I might be able to do an autopilot. Let me turn on the waypoint. All right, turn on the autopilot. <laughs> I think it's too late. So we're no more Reaper, no more Apache. AC-130 is going down. 
<laughs> like, uh, I wouldn't say going down. They turned down the engines. This is how it flies. Stabilizing. Not enough. They have a. Oh, they yeah, got the water. Just slowly. Damn it. I'm gonna quit out and load back at the. I saved before we got there. Okay. I wanna try to see if we can get this AC 130 off. We need to build a fucking shell around it. Seems like we're targeting <laughs> just it. <laughs> well, if we get the Reaper up and then we get the AC-130 up. Go crush up an ibuprofen before I go to bed. Fucking dumb ass. I wish we had like technology where you could just heal like small wounds. Put it. In, that would be nice. A machine or something. It's like just tiny ones. Muscles and shit. Be hard, but like skin tissue. All right, we are good. We're going to launch the drone. Alright, so the last thing we'll do is disconnect the connect for the AC-130. So that <laughs> way there's no chance of it falling off. Something about like if you're falling and then you go into no clip. Oh, what is happening? Yeah, if you're falling and you go into no clip, it'll um. It'll, you continue falling. It's yeah, so annoying. If you go forward with shift, it it'll kill you eventually too. Pulling too many G's. Yeah, the drone takes off beautifully, man. It has no problem whatsoever. get the AC-130 started. So what we'll do is, whenever it's fully ready, I'll, since you're going to be gunning, um, I'm going to have it have you run out, go push the button, and then run back in. Actually, run it better. Is it now that we did a restart? Yeah. What's the what's the um difference in these two screens? Are they different guns or? Uh, n yes, I think I I don't I think so.
All right, I think you're good to go. Oh, did I press the uh, button? Yeah, on the right. opposite side. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> I guess it's not moving so we're good. Did you put the brakes on? Yeah, the brakes are on right now. Oh, nice. Yeah, it don't matter what I put in the We good. Oh, let me close the door. Increase our chances of getting out of here. doing well we're already doing better than before yeah but it's like turning it's like stuck on something uh -oh. Oh, fuck it oh, oh god will we just get caught on oh no fuck the hell it <laughs> what the fuck are we caught on what did the landing gear break I think it hit oh, the carriers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes the C-130 now. It's spinning. Let me see if I can wind it down a little bit. We only lost, we only lost one engine. What the fuck? Are, let me try putting the landing gear up. <coughs> Dude, what the fuck is this thing caught on? Oh <laughs> no. It's caught on one of the magnets. Uh, I know, I, I gotta I gotta fucking bring the. F I know what to do. This thing's like flying the helicarrier faster than it's ever gone. I forgot to delete those. Is there guns back there? Uh, what do you mean? Like any kind of guns? Oh, like... It should be, right? Yeah, right here. Behind my screen. There we go. If you want to reset again, we can, because... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, I don't know if there's any hope because these little magnetic, unless I shoot the magnetic things and break them completely. The camera auto operator is broken now. Oh, it's the what? super delayed. The camera operator. Screen. The cameras are broken? The camera operator. Like, like you can still shoot. It's just the other one that can zoom all You can shoot point. accurately? Oh, I can't get to the chair because it's... Do you need the camera operator one? No. Oh, what the fuck is going on? I can't get out of the chair. My game is lagging so bad or something. Oh, there we go. Hopefully that doesn't go off. I don't get is Is the camera working now? Yeah, my game's so fucked up, dude, it's like not something's going on. Okay, let me see if like I, I have good frames, but everything's like stop motion. The propellers are like, but, 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 like, going one by one. All my buttons are super delayed. Like, I'm clicking F. Ah, dang it. And he don't get out of the chair. Yeah, we're gonna quit out. 
And then we're gonna shoot each one of those little magnetic things all over the, the pads. So that way this thing cannot catch on any of those fucking asshole magnets. Yeah, we were building speed and then it just like went, oh, I just stopped. Yeah, it caught on one of those damn magnets. I forgot to delete them all. I, I got the ones on the runway. I just don't understand why he would put 30 of them. Like, all around. That should be all of them. I need to remember to grab one of those key things on the Amazon you know, container or whatever. <clears throat> oh, I ordered a Picatinny rail set. I think it was like 20 bucks. Hey, there you go. Cool. For aluminum, or it's aluminum and it fits in the key fucking whatever. I always forget the name. Pretty sure if I hit this water, I'm gonna die. Yep. Alright, I got the drone going there. <clears throat> Yes, I, I might need uh, one of those. I got to get that mag coupler from you. But yeah, I got it here. Oh, well, Saturday, if we're going to chill Saturday and do pizza and shit. I'm down. Uh, I'll get it to you. That was cool, man. What was up with the four grips? Is that ever a thing? Like, you want me to print them? Were they nerfed or... No, they're actually Picatinny uh, four grips, like, like that be, Magpul. It'll be pretty tight, because those sights, I know you had to shrink the sights down or increase the size of them or whatever, so. Exactly why they were loose. I mean, I haven't printed them, so I don't know. Yeah. You never know with that kind of, and you also got to remember that that printer always prints one to two millimeters off as well. Yeah, grip's not too big of a deal. If anything, I could almost throw some tape on the inside to create like an extra layer. <laughs> if I need to. Or something, I don't know. Fucking slap some gorilla glue on that bitch. That'll seal it down. Be like that shotgun with the fixed grip and fixed suppressor barrel mock up thing they had on it. <laughs> I still want to get one of those. I'll go buy it. Fucked on a high brass shotgun. It would just be last on the list of ammo. <laughs> Alright, you're good to go. Oh, wait, do you want me to shoot the things? or? Oh, yeah, I gotta hit the. The button. Should I bring a gun and, like, shoot the magnet? 
That's up to you. I don't. That, those aren't the problem. It's the other ones that are in these plus. If you look at these plus symbols, each plus symbol in the middle has one. I already shot them each. Each one of them. You see in, in the middle of there, right there, right where you're walking, where the uh, plus yeah. symbol is. Is that what we? I feel like we hit something like right here. The rope anchors don't do anything, right? No, they won't fuck with it. It's the magnets catching onto those other magnets. I thought you were saying the ones by the wheels. Those shouldn't be a problem because you turn them on. When you turn it off, it cuts all of it, so they're no longer active at all. Yeah, I'm moving it forward slowly. It says zero knots of wind. Yeah, my ass. We're in the sky. I think this thing's moving the carrier <laughs> slightly. Man, I thought it had a tighter turning radius than this. <laughs> I mean, I think if you just yeet it off the edge, you just don't want the wings to catch. Yeah, that's the hard part. This don't have reverse, right? No, I don't think so. <laughs> you know what we could do is what? just um I we yeah with the wind she probably could, I don't know. I was gonna say just like hang all of our planes and shit off of the bottom of this thing, like wind chimes. And <laughs> Just have them at different lengths so they don't hit each other. And then whenever you need to, like, like say you need to take this off, you'll put it in a destination for the carrier to go to, and then we got to go run down and get into the, the GC-130. And it'll kind of pull it up on plane, and then you just disconnect it and, and hit the throttle. I think you got this. I mean, if you didn't have like 2,000 feet, actually, fuck, we're close. I didn't realize how close we were to the land. It's a mountain. God, it's so loud. All right. How do I zoom this thing? I think there was like a method to switching this thing or something. Rotation, elevation, FOV, fire, what? weapon plus, weapon negative. So what negative. altitude are we at? Um, I don't have that back here. <coughs> Oh, I think I, I do. We're at 1,500 feet. Okay, we need to go higher. It just turned red. I don't know why it's not actually going. Oh, it's not pulling out? Yeah. Oh, I got it. Okay, hold on. Roll. Flame. Oh, man, these ships. Is it going up? Well, 
What? It's T L I M. <laughs> Unless it's an R. Yeah, it's going up slowly. What just happened? Oh god, these ships. We are super low. Are we gaining an altitude? Yeah, slowly. This thing's slow as fuck at gaining altitude. How do I put the landing gear away? Oh my gosh, these fucking ships, dude. We're just barely dodging shots galore. I can roll the plane, so just give me a second. Is it? Do you even hear anything shooting? Yeah, the ships are shooting. No, like our ship. No, nothing's shooting right now. Alright, weapon negative. Is the fucking lock? Safety release uh, off, right? No. There we go. Oh, maybe it's because we don't have the cabin light on. He's red. That's totally it, right? Are we going down? Oh, okay, there we go. But how do I switch? Dude, I don't understand this fucking plane. What are you doing, plane? Lift up! Dude, we're gonna fucking crash. No. Yeah, we're gonna fucking crash. Huh? Oh, I think I have to turn auto load off. We might bounce off. Uh -oh. oh, no. What the fuck, dude? I don't know why the thing fucking... It wouldn't ever get altitude. Now I can't move. Are we still crashing? No, well, it's kind of bouncing around right now. This is the smoothest crash I've ever been in. Is this the sun? Is this uh, the sun? So Get right. out, like, <laughs> are we on Mars? <laughs> Nuclear. I want this fucking... It used to work really well, I don't know what the fuck... I think we have too many things spawned in, it's just so... Everything's so slow. Could be. We could probably do without the Apache. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just be like normal fucking humans and take these humans and take, take the these uh, vehicles off from a normal fucking airport. Yeah, we could just do that. We don't need the whole fucking. Oh, Shabam. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me crazy. Is it still slow motion? No, Where's it's not too bad. I deleted everything. Uh oh. Um. Let's see, what's what's a close base? I guess we could just fucking... It, it'll spawn in at the um, FJ Warner, the one base that we were at, with, with the docks, the big docks. Yeah, I still remember that game, that dude was just spawn killing me over and over. I was actually getting mad about it, too. Is this... It's still fucking running as slow as shit. Yeah, mine is like too. Up. Everything, even though I cleaned everything up. Let me, let me go ahead and save real quick and then quit out. Guns are so inaccurate. Hey, oh, you got it. Did that kill you? Yeah, there is friendly fire, I think. Well, not I think anymore. Now you know. Yeah, I invited Justin uh, Saturday, and he was actually down for a minute, and then he texted me going, oh, that's right, I forgot I got heat stroke coming over to have a heat stroke with a shooting day. I was like, tell him the fuck off, dude, you can come live. I had him believing that, What? I was like, hey, what are you doing this Saturday? And he's like, uh, possibly sick. And I was like, well, what if I told you that um, we're going to watch a show about uh, Navy invading Notre Dame in Ireland 
And he's like, really? And I was like, yeah, they're they're doing an evasion, and it's over turf, and it's a ground war to who gains more ground. And I was like, and it's almost, people call it uh, practically the Saving Private Ryan 2.0. It's like combat uh, sorry, watch without weapons. <laughs> without weapons. But they get a special kind uh, of sure. plastic armor. <laughs> And I don't know if he knows it's football or not, because I think he generally thinks that it's some type of show about the Navy invi invading <clears throat> Notre Dame. I was going to say, we could just go over there and fucking um, get, like, a little miniature TV and stream the game from, like, YouTube TV on your phone to that TV and just carry it around on, like, a wagon everywhere. <laughs> oh, my God. He would fucking he'd shoot it. I don't think he actually thinks. But I told I was like, uh, Saturday's a Papa Day. Papa and Navy Day. And he's and that's when I started telling him about the Navy thing because he knew what Papa Papa John's meant. Oh wait, I can just fucking no clip <clears throat> over there. Are you back in? Yeah. It's not it just loaded going. in. Oh, okay. Uh, no, uh, uh, that's why. That's, yeah, because I didn't fucking hate that. God, I have such a big problem with that. There shouldn't be just a. Se there shouldn't be a separate multiplayer hosting thing. I always click single player. Dude, I was honestly looking for a gun store like that. I would just pass by today. I want to get some fucking hollow points. I'm. Sh I feel so uncomfortable carrying FMJ around. Like I don't even want to carry anymore with it. It just seems stupid and negligent oh and that pistol yeah yeah you gotta be careful with that you're in charge of others lives yeah i don't i don't ever want to be in that situation but yeah you're good i do i don't want to be punching holes through like three cars <laughs> yeah exactly i don't even think nine will go through a whole two doors but that's still It'd be so cool to then. have some money just to buy a car, like a shitty car, but <laughs> still with an engine. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool as shit. That would be my number one go-to target if I could afford it. Just like a fucking two hundred dollar car with a blown up engine, but cool the engine still be in there. Put that fifty cal into a car, see what it does, see how much of the yeah. car it actually like goes through. But man, you'd probably be getting some crazy fucking ricochets with that shit. Like, How goes inside, this? goes through the door, and then bounces off the fucking inside back to you or something. I need to, uh... Okay, we need to go to the multiplayer base, because that hangar's not big enough to spawn. Dude, there's so much fucking oil. That's spray. <laughs> Yeah, it's bad. Get a fucking oil spill. Jesus. Dude, like, the whole fucking area is, like, all fucking spilly of oily. Don't need any of the seafood from this island. There we go. Now it spawns in. Is there any first aid kits in here? My dude's about dead. Yeah, back here is fucking a shit. Man, it should be a lot easier to take this fucking thing off now. Oh, that's the... I've been looking at this stupid little red square thinking it was just staying on 105 millimeter.
What is IR for? Like nighttime? Yeah. Well, this is kind of one of the things where you don't want to fuck up. No, oh, great. It's fucking the plane's turning. Why? Put a little bit more juice on the right and or in the left engine just because God they never fix this fucking bug. Like a plane doesn't turn on a tarmac by itself. <laughs> There's no way in hell I can get this out of here now. You know what you need to do is go to edit this thing, put like a little mag all or one of those magnetic locks on it, and then we'll find uh what's it called put it on like the front of the plane the nose and then you could use a um, like a trolley or whatever the things they use at the airports we could just pull I'm it out I'm gonna clean it up I'm just gonna spawn it outside I'm pretty sure I could do that let me see if I can spawn it outside Ocean. There you go. Now it should spawn in. There it is. Bit out here. No clipping. Yeah. It seems like it's playing even better now. <coughs> All right, let me turn this off. Now right, let the turning begin. thing does not like to get altitude. It's just like parallel. I don't understand why.
Dude, there was a guy I was watching this video the other day. He was testing the power of blanked against the skull or whatever. Like, because people have died from that in the past. And he was doing it on, like, a ballistic head or whatever. Those ones they've been using since Mythbusters. And he was doing everything. He did, like, a 22 pistol. And it, like, cracked the skull and shit. And put, like, a little damage on him. So that would probably kill you. If not, you'd be fucked up in the head. Or no, yeah, it did kill because a piece, a little fragment of the skull flew through the brain. He was um, saying or whatever, but he did that, and then he started going up like nine millimeter and shit. It started fucking everything up, and then he pulled out a 12 gauge and put a blank in it. Dude, it disintegrated that thing. Like a, a 12, you wouldn't even need an actual like projectile and I was just like what the fuck are we going down man this fucking thing it won't fucking go up it takes there must be something wrong Not with that. pitch roll left right y'all it should be your pitch I know that's what I was using you're fucking up I just died Right, let me go over and make sure I'm, there's not something. What were you saying? Nah. Okay, try this again. Another funny video he did though was Rad Shot. How lethal is rad shot in all calibers? Oh, uh, are you talking about Demolition Ranch? Or was that uh, Ballistic, Kentucky Ballistics? I did, I, I seen the thumbnail of that one. Might have been Kentucky Ballistics. The 50 cal he did with that was fucking insane. Like, I don't think you can find... The 50 cal blank was crazy, too. He tried that. It was just as crazy as the 12 gauge. But, like, the 50 cal rat shot just, like, he was shooting at four show and it just fucking, like, disintegrated the entire thing. I mean, it's just, like, you yeah. put that much gunpowder behind anything, it's gonna be very fucking lethal. Those kind of weapons are meant for, like, penetrating armor. What the fuck am I missing here? Why is this thing not wanting to go up? APU. Here. I don't fucking know. You know, there's no brightness tab in this game. What? There's no brightness tab. It's like the one setting that's in every okay. game. Alright, so I need that to be there. That's going to help with lift. There's no brightness in this? Uh-uh. Oh, good God. Take off. I mean, it's still not wanting to lift up. Let me... Oh, there we go. Oh, shit, there's a fire in the cockpit. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm that's, fucking dying. I'm out of control. <laughs> I know, there's a fire in the cockpit. Upside down. <laughs> I fell out of the plane somehow. That's alright. I got it to work, so I just can't be maxing it out. Yeah. Go ahead and teleport back. I got. Um, I know how to do it now.
I just can't max out the speed. <laughs> just for some reason, a fire started in the cockpit. And it killed all the controls. I think it was whatever you hit. Did I hit something? I don't know. I, I, I was it a fucking something. deer? Fucking deer. <laughs> I wasn't really paying. I was trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Why it wasn't lifting up still. It was probably the fucking octopus reaching his arm out from the ocean. <laughs> Wasn't it like a devil, 007 movie? I think it was one of those so like Sharknado, but it might have been a porno. Who knows? It sounds like one. Let's see. Right, This is the fourth or fifth time as a charm. There we go. Yeah, I guess you just can't be going too fast. How far are we from all this stuff? From what? Is it all the way down the desert base? Yeah, this thing's hauling ass. No, now it's working pretty well. What's our speed? 180? Yeah, there we go. Wish I was working more whenever the 50% was gone. <laughs> This game's so loud, hold on. Let me turn this down. Damn, we are close. What? I would say, I, I wish I was working more whenever that 50% was going on. The 50%? Yeah. What are you talking about? The split order for the company. Oh, yeah. I don't know, Circle K's never been like that, right? No, it's always been 25%. Oof. What if you were like a one-man business and you picked that up? <laughs> oh, man, you would be fucked. You wouldn't be able to do it. Oh, my God. You would not be able to do it. Even with all your time dedicated, it would be... Horrible. Rolling. And you gotta go home and do all the paperwork and bill it. Oof. Wasn't that 
You can at least have an office person in that scenario. <laughs> okay, so you get an office person. I want to do like hotels and shit. I feel like that's decent. That was fast as fuck. We're already here. Yeah, I know. The only thing is this thing's not wanting to turn towards the fucking objective. What are you doing, Mr. Plane? Are you going to turn to the objective? Does this thing even have like a rudder type turn? There we go. Oh. Yeah, it does. It's just very fucking. I didn't have the right autopilot on. Since this thing's kind of self-efficient, is this like a weatherman? Yeah. Yeah. It's like what the fuck? Oh man, we're like right below the fucking pier. Below it. I should be able to aim at it now. I can't see what... I can go... For, I can go... I can turn more? Like, I could point the aircraft downwards more? Would that help? Uh, like, almost upwards, but... Upwards? If we're leaning too far? Yeah, I think we should be alright. Oh, I could turn it. So is that better? Oh. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna load... Is that a plum? As long as I don't fucking fall out of the... Fog's all the way down. Um, oh yeah, it, uh, the monitor is not. It's clear as shit for me. It's like white. It's got like this bright white color for some reason. Is there a screen monitor setting? <laughs> There's like a. My monitor quality is high. I don't know. Try to bloom. That made it work. I need to zoom. Oh, four. Okay, so right there's a tank. You can mark stuff? I don't think so. That would be cool, though. Mm. 
You see right there on the corner? Yeah, you're aiming like like go ahead and zoom in right there. Oh okay. okay. It's the last one? Right there. Where's he at right here? You, you didn't see him? He's uh up, aim up. And then to the right a little bit. And then up a little bit more. Up more a little bit. Like at the top corner of that concrete. Right uh, down a bit. Down just a little bit. It's like dragon so much. Yeah, it's like right there. You don't see that tank? No. I think we tested this before. Yours just looks better because of this though. I think you hit it. Oh no, it's still there. You don't see it on my screen right now? No, yours is bright as fuck for me too. That's weird, because I could see it clear as day. Do you have... Is it your view distance? Turn your view distance up. What, like on the screen or on the settings? On your settings. Like my FOV? No, like the actual on... Um, uh, it says bottom left of the, the graphics. A few distance? Yeah, mine's set to 2,000 meters. Did that help at all? I might have. Oh, it looks... Definitely. It did? Yeah. Let me try turning my down to see what that looked. What was it at? Like 1200, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, wow, that, yeah, that makes a difference. A huge difference. Yeah, it's, it's, keeping yours at 2000 is a big, big difference. I just shot that 105 out of the tank. Oh, barely missed them. There's not like a, is there a stabilization on that? I don't think so. Or I don't know. There's like a roll trim. I don't know. Oh shit. Is that rolling the whole thing? I think so. I didn't know you had the control of that. It's pretty cool. That's pretty neat, I, I, I'm, but I'm kind of surprised that there's not... There's mo monitor, uh, yeah. monitor, auto load, and safety release over here. And when, you, when you're sitting in that chair, there's still no... Oh, you can drag it around like that? Yeah, no, it, I'm sorry. It doesn't say anything. It says rotation, elevation, FOV, fire, weapon, weapon, minus, zoom, IR, and so. Here, let me get us over the ships. You can use your mouse to drag the cursor around on this. Or the aim, like the crosshairs. Let me 
go ahead and update this GPS coordinates so you can see the ships. Finally died. One thing I like about them views, man, I'm them on battery will last a fucking long time, even after having them for a while. Yeah, like the they actually they hang in there. Yeah, like I charged uh, mine last night, and then whenever I got off, I pulled it off the charger, and I haven't had to charge it since then to right now. I actually just seen another chief on that. Oh, I got a jet. See something flying behind me. Yeah, that AA. There's an AA turret behind us on the ground. Okay, here's the ships. Let me do a wider angle. Oh, uh, wait, you got. You already have a wider angle at 2000. I'm gonna turn the plane downward more. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna turn it up. That's a little too far. There you go, you got two ships right off to the, your left right now. I can't. Okay, let's try this one. Ah. It's hard to see those fuck where your shots are going with those ships. I can't aim it, it's like right there. There we go. Oh, here, hold on. Go ahead and aim down now. It was more like it was like it couldn't keep up behind it. I think it was I lost it. Oh, uh, um, I can, I can make the distance go further. Are we going down? I don't no. Know. Can you slow it down at all? Or does it start? Yeah, I can, oh yeah, I can slow it down. Put this at 2500. Actually, is that better? Yeah. Which one? The you might 40. be out of ammo. The 40? Let me it see. It's got six left. Uh -huh. Oh, it's taking damage. Oh, go ahead and turn it. Left or right? Um, actually, never mind. This. Oh, it working now? Yeah.
Are we taking shots? Yeah, I think so. Everything just had like a universal control that people had to do. <coughs> and zoom is like four. I guess it kind of makes sense. But you have to hit one or two to swap between the ammo. It should just be one, like one button. Well, I need it's a javelin. See any more ships? All right, here's one. Yeah, you got three of them down there. I don't think I can aim as well as that one. Go ahead and tilt the plane more. I don't know if it... It's still like super bright. I don't know if this is because we're out over the ocean. It's the water. You want me to drop the the altitude? Uh, probably. It's honestly like way too fucking hard to keep up with these things. Just like they seem to go by so fast. I should have fucking deleted this doorway. It's a horrible fucking. There we go. Deleted the whole thing. <laughs> Splits in half. I, I, it's like the gun, the way he made it, the gun blocks the doorway and it's impossible for me to get in. Yeah, I had it turned a certain way earlier and it was... There we go. Out. Let I me drop the altitude. I don't even see any of them. I 
want to hit one of these bitches with this 105. Hold on, I'm getting us in a better spot. There we go. I know like AC 130s are fixed to one side, but I wonder how much like movement they actually have. Is this That's actually, a good question. Oops. I don't know. This. I mean, I feel like they try to take a realistic approach with this, but it doesn't. There's no way it's got this little movement for a while. I feel like if I can hit one of those 105 millimeters, it'll blow a whole fucking ship up. Why are you going down? Set the altitude. Uh -oh. uh, uh, come on. Well, oh. uh, I just decided to die. It's like uh, that movie Casino, with uh, or yeah, Casino, where they're like they they spied on us for so long their planes ran out of fuel. <laughs> they're on the golf course. It's like a hundred bucks whoever can hit the plane. <laughs> I'm stuck. Here we did uh. I could do is uh, we can start doing some like rescue shit. I think there's a. Is there still a wildfire? 